Police in Maine are still scrambling to find the suspected shooter who opened fire in a small city of Lewiston last night. Today, we are learning more about the events leading up to the series of mass shootings. Fox News correspondent Rebecca Castor is joining us live now in Lewiston, Maine with more on this manhunt. Anthony, we are standing just feet away from the bar and grill, the second location that the suspect carried out his shooting rampage last night, and the massive manhunt for him is still underway. We cannot and we will not rest in this endeavor. Authorities in Maine are searching for a 40-year-old firearms instructor and Army reservist in connection with a series of mass shootings in the town of Lewiston. More than two dozen people were killed or injured. Police say they are now looking for a motive. You say triggering event, that's a motive for us, and that's not something we're prepared to discuss uh, today. More than 100 federal and local investigators are assisting with the case. It began just before 7 p.m. Wednesday night when police responded to shooting incidents at a bowling alley and a bar. A vehicle believed to be the suspect's was later found at a boat ramp miles away. Experts say the suspect's known mental health issues and military experience make this a difficult case for investigators. Dozens of agencies responding all in their own manner, trying to get organized. That takes hours, literally hours, multiple locations. Schools and offices across the region remain closed on Thursday. This community now trying to make sense of the violence. You see it everywhere else, but you never think it's going to hit home. Uh, it, it's scary. You know what I mean? It, it's got everybody nervous. And tonight we're getting reports that there is a very active law enforcement presence outside two properties associated with the suspect. He is considered armed and dangerous. Anthony. All right, Rebecca Castor reporting for us. Now, Rebecca, before you go, but the facts are the facts in this case, and we continue to get new information from officials, but you're on the ground there in Maine. From an emotional standpoint, what are you seeing and hearing as people are still processing this whole thing there in that community? Well, Anthony, before today, this community was actually known for its low violent crime rate. And one of the locals here that we spoke with just told us that it's heartbreaking that this is now going to be this community's reputation. Um, the shelter in place uh, warning has been extended while the suspect is still at large. And we are seeing community members really heed that warning. It's mostly been a ghost town throughout the town today. Schools were closed and businesses closed as well. And people are just really uh, not at ease until this man uh, is apprehended. I can only imagine. Rebecca, thank you so much for that reporting. And the news of that mass shooting in Maine really evoked a strong emotional reaction from the family of the victims of, of the Uvalde mass school shooting. In 2022, a gunman killed 19 students and two teachers at Robb Elementary School. Brett Cross, who lost his son, Uzziah, posted this on Twitter. It's on your screen. It says, I'm angry. I'm heartbroken. I'm devastated daily. Now, more families will feel the same. Another parent, Gloria Cesarez, whose daughter Jackie was also killed, wrote, I'm sorry we couldn't prevent the pain, heartache, grief, and anger you are about to experience. Ending with, sincerely, a mom of a mass school shooting victim, end quote. And with these senseless mass shootings continuing to play out, we want to know, we want to hear from you. What do you think is the answer to stop these shootings from happening? So on your screen here, we gave you some options. You want to see more gun control, more mental health help, maybe a combination of both or nothing at all. Right now, we are seeing more mental health help. If you want to chime in on this poll, take that, uh, take, uh, head over to fox26houston.com or download the Fox 26 News app.